Okay, hi and welcome to the synth jet. We've got the TR8S drum machine uh, running its audio and MIDI over USB into the IRA USB on the uh, Roland MX1 mix performer. That means we have sync start stop control over MIDI from the MX1. We also have audio levels here that we can control, mute, and the uh, master effects. I've got the scatter setting on at the moment, which we can apply to that incoming signal from the TR8S. Um, Etc. So all the usual tricks, and if we put the um, individual beat effects on, we can apply classic sort of side chain effect, where it's um, kind of pumping. Just going to apply that. You can hear it getting more extreme there. But of course, um, we have the whole signal, all the instruments in the kit. Just turn that down a little bit. Um, coming over that USB uh, connection into USB one here. Um, now, what if we wanna separate out any of these um, individual drum tracks? Um, particularly the bass drum. If you, you know, typically in, in most um, club style dance music, you don't want that being affected um, in the same way that you might be applying effects, particularly side chain to the rest of your um, drum group. So that's a, a really simple fix. You just have to go into the um, kit settings on the TRAS, the shift kit and um and you uh go through the, the scroll through the menu till you hit the output selection and you want to choose the um the instrument you want to change the output of uh, as you can see at the moment everything is set to mix that just means everything as you'd expect is going out of the main mix which is currently hooked uh, up by a USB into the MX1. You can just select an individual channel. I've got the bass drum selected here. Sorry, just deselected. Let's go back in there. And now, instead of mix, we can change that and assign it to one. Now straight away you can hear, even though the bass drum fader is up, we've lost that kick sound that we had. Just press enter and come out of there and switch over the TR8S so we can see what's happening. I've got a jack um, cable connected out of bass drum individual out, which we've just assigned on the TR8S coming into channel one on the MX1. Now, if we put this volume fader up, we can hear that kick come back in. And of course this time, whatever we do to the main mix of the TR-80S, which currently has all the other drums on it in that kit. The kick's just gonna keep going. And that means when we apply beat effects, which is currently set on side chain, to the main beats, the four. And we start pumping that side chain, which you can hear going quite extreme at the moment. That's not gonna affect 
kick uh, drum at all because we don't have the beat effects applied on that channel. And similarly, if we want to do crazier stuff, like apply filter, then none of that will affect the kick drum because it's a different channel. So there you go. And of course you can apply the same principle to any of the sounds using individual um, outs into the MX1's audio inputs while you're still carrying the main signal uh, over USB, totally unaffected, into one of the USB channels.